Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 Pro Custom ROM Revis back with another version. This is uh, Skyline UI for Poco X3 Pro YUR Bima Android version is 13. You can see here is the latest available build from skyline ui and the 5th august 2023 is the latest security patch is also available and kernel user is 4.14.190 kernel has been used here and this is an august 17th build guys and this is typical home screen you get and if i press and hold here you get a widgets option all android 13 widgets like battery shortcut widgets and some chrome shortcut widgets and even the clock widgets those are still available here you can just drag and add here you can even adjust them and you can have some of the presets here you guys can see on the screen even you can adjust them just press and hold here and just drag like this and this is a quick settings panel which is looking fine and no problem regarding the uh, speedness and lag i haven't noticed any lag in the quick settings panel and you can see these all the other options available here in the edit section if you want you can drag and add them all the things are working fine and automatic brightness toggle is given here you can see it's still available which is really good and if app active uh, notification will be getting here the status of app active can be seen here and power button you get advanced restart button also in this particular rom and if you first time to this channel hit the subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like you can see here this is the app drive available you can see and i will start with the safety net status here will it get passed or no let's see yeah it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like phone pay google pay all are going to work fine google maps are also working fine you will get fm radio option here and drm information in this poco x3 pro you can see l1 after this skyline you you can watch all the ott applications in hd resolution that's fine camera application you get here a basic application if and you can use advanced gcam ports are available for poco x3 my favorite is arno build gcam and even some parrot build and latest ngc cam agc cam that's also very good you can use those things and benchmark results like anti2 let me show you here you can also judge the app opening time here 6,65,990 is the score you can see the version of android benchmark some of them are complaining that how you got high score this is little bit boosted in this version you can download the same version version 10.0.7 ob7 the android benchmark results you will get similar results and six percent uh, sorry six degrees celsius has been raised during this testing and four percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing of and to benchmark results i will also show you the bgma gameplay many of them asked to show the gameplay but they haven't said which game i will show the bgma gameplay for here and the battery life you can see here the graph there is a gradual decrease in battery life which is really annoying for me at least in initial uh, first day if you use it for a couple of days it might get improved and geekbench scores you can see 1035 is the single score and multi score is 2547 and linux 4.14.190 bagwell vo kernel has been used for this poco x3 pro and i have run the 100 thread test for cpu throttling results for 15 minutes you can see the results here the maximum is around 231 and average is around 196 and minimum is 161 there is no orange or red uh, lines or graph here which is really good and it's throttled to 76 percent of its max performance it's still not good but better than what i shown in the previous rising ui you can check out those videos in my channel too there is a dedicated playlist of poco x pro you can get those videos there and and to benchmark and the battery life i have shown you let's check the uh, 33 watt charging support will it get or not let's see charging rapidly as you can see the 33 watt charging support is also given in this room which is working fine face unlock i have set the face unlock 
yeah it's working fine let's do once again yeah just press the power button once the face recognize it will get unlocked using that it is quick enough to unlock your smartphone now moving into settings you get nothing here it's simple basic ui it as similar as uh, pixel experience or anything like that but just i glance them uh, battery settings you get battery saver and extreme battery saver options are also included in the display settings if i go here you get these basic options like minimum maximum refresh rate colors options you get just three and even ambient display if you want you can disable them to get better battery life tap to sleep and tap to wake are given are working fine let's check them and wallpaper and style again there are plenty of options given combination of colors and other colors you can choose them notifications more options you get plenty of options here too sound and vibration again you get a me sound enhancer direct sound setting you can enable the headphone type preset and scene and even hi-fi audio system is also given in this particular rom it will make a difference once you use using the 3.5 mm headphone jack uh, security you get face and fingerprint unlock more yeah there is no app lock here and you get here system into gestures you also get one handed mode swipe to screenshot those things are working fine i want to show this gesture navigation you get both the options to increase the pill length and also the radius of the pill which is really good in my opinion and even in the display option i want to show this you get a dark theme option within that you get a option to enable use black theme which will looks pitch black condition which i really like it it's a very good rom as of now it's working fine skyline ui you get these kind of options nothing more here and in the system again status bar customization and buttons customizations are given little bit but those are not a uh, huge customizable rom i can say and dialer you get a simple me sorry google dialer you also get a video call but i am using uh, psnl sim hence it is showing like this call recording feature is also there but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call and this is a skyline ui let's play vgma and see what all the graphics settings set and how it will be handling in this particular skyline ui for poco x3 pro you guys can see here the graphic settings whatever it is available yeah smooth plus 90 fps has been enabled you can see on the screen that's quite good you get many of the options in order to increase the frame rate and all at least i got a kill this is the volume panel you get and while playing games you get this kind of quick settings toggles it is fine actually the gameplay you guys can see there is no lag whatsoever i am getting continuous 90 fps support here One of the best this is for gaming. Oh, finally I got killed. The device is also not getting that much warm. Not just now. If you play even continuously one hour, two hour, uh, it is not getting that warm. But still, it's great enough. You are getting very good performance of 90 FPS. As you can see, even while in the counter attacks, I am not getting any lag here. If it was a different ROM, that was different. But here, you guys can see. Also, internet connection plays very important role while playing these kind of games. You have to note these points. Okay, I'll come back here. This is how the game handled BGMA. If you have any specific games to test in this particular ROM, I can do that also. Let me know in the comment section, guys. And what I really liked in this ROM is the user interface. The, it have very good uh, kind of uh, speediness. I haven't faced any lag or anything like that in this UI. You can definitely use it as a daily driver. The quick settings panel is also not getting any lag or any delay in the UI, which is really, really good. 
and the battery life is little bit worrying factor in this rom and the benchmark results and gaming performance is really really good if you are into that kind of person and you want to try this skyline ui and you are already using that go and update this particular rom you will be satisfied with the performance but not the battery life keep this mind keep these points in the mind and flash this rom flashing method is already available in my uh, channel in the shorts video you can check out i'll give the card section too and once again i want to show the battery life here yeah you can see now it's around like this yeah the battery draining is little bit faster compared to any other rom for this poco x3 pro this is sampath signing off we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now